Hello, fluffy people of the world. My name is Liquid Blitz, and welcome to what might be the most anticipated game of my life and also my channel, Dark Souls 3. Oh my god, it's finally here. Oh, I'm so excited to play this game, I literally can't describe. We kicked off our, or my, relationship with From Software, um, with Elden Ring, when that was freshly released. I live-streamed that game, which I don't do. Um, I'm recording this just for YouTube, because that's, in my opinion, the best viewing experience. As I did with Dark Souls 1 on my channel, and then Dark Souls 2. I just, after Elden Ring, I decided to go back in time and uh, start from the very beginning. I only have access to a PC, so I had to skip Demon Souls. Um, but I played through Dark Souls 1, I absolutely loved it. It's, it is my jam. And then uh, a lot of people requested I skip Dark Souls 2. And I'm glad I didn't, because I actually really enjoyed that as well. I appreciated a lot of the risks the developers took. A few of the changes were a little, yeah. But um, I enjoyed the experience for what it is, and I finished that about a month ago, and here we are, Dark Souls 3. Um, I've got my music lowered because it's so epic that um, I just needed to lower it for this introduction. Um, but, let's turn my sound up again. I might include my reaction, my first time reaction to the music at the end of the video or something, because it is a very powerful, awesome soundtrack. Um, right. I think the settings are good to go. I've had a brief look uh, at everything. Um, I'm going to be doing this as offline as possible. I don't have much interest in PvP um, for a blind play. This is a blind playthrough, if I haven't mentioned that already. 100% blind. I haven't seen anything of this game. Not even a clip. So, yeah. I think we're good to go. Let's just... Let's go for it. Oh, the music has died down. Oh my god. Okay, let's do this. This game has been literally several years in the making, like... Several years of building anticipation. Yes, indeed. Turn my sound up a bit. It is called Lothric. Lothric? where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. Hunchback? In venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. Is it going to be taking place in the same place then? And the Lords go Oh, poor hunchback. I'm going to try and pay attention to the story as much as possible. Um, when the link of fire is threatened, the bell tolls, unearthing the old lords of Cinder from their graves. Saint of the deep. This is a rundown of the bosses right here. <laughs> Aldrich. It's like a giant octopus. Farron's undead legion, the abyss watches. Dude. I'm a big fan of like great swords it must be said and the reclusive lord of the profaned capital profaned capital uh that looks like one big boy right there yom the giant yom he's got a crown is he a king Listen to this music going apeshit in the best way possible. Dude, the music of this game is already top-notch. The lords will abandon their thrones. And the 
unkindled will rise. Am I the unkindled? Cursed and dead, unfit even to be cinder. And so it is. So ready. Oh, hell yes. Character creation. Ooh, okay, so throughout Dark Souls 2, if you uh if you watch my playthrough, you'll know we we uh we had discussions about what build I would do for Dark Souls 3, and I'm pretty damn decided on a strength and faith high well strength and faith playthrough. In Dark Souls 1, I did a sort of a hybrid between strength and dex. Also went like max pyromancy as well, but I didn't do much magic outside of pyromancy. In Dark Souls 2, I wanted to flip it up a bit. We went deep into strength so I could uh, wield big heavy weapons. Uh, but I also did like a, hy a magic hybrid with lots of int. Um, and I'm not going to do that this time. I'm not going to go int at all. Only faith. Strength and faith, so... Uh, oh, to have to use my keyboard, hang on. <laughs> I was fluffy in uh, Dark Souls 1, I was fluffy in Dark Souls 2, and I'll be fucked if I'm not a creature of habit. Fluffy! Yeah. Now I used the, um, the, the magical gender-changing coffin in Dark Souls 2. You know, that common garden variety object. Okay, gender changing coffin and I ended the I played most of the game and ended it as a female uh, so why not I, I, wanna, I feel like I want to continue that why not age young uh, I might be getting a little close to mature but I like to think I'm still in the young bracket okay oh how awesome do I look already um, well, I want to get as high strength and faith right off the bat. My whole idea with this playthrough is going to be big heavy weapons just like my Dark Souls 2 playthrough, but faith to like buff everything. I've never done faith before in any FromSoft game, so... Although I'm, I'm aware of what you can do with, with faith generally. Ooh, 16. Damn! Okay. <laughs> Ooh, we can rotate. Right, okay, so, I mean, right off the bat, what's the highest faith? 16, cleric. Strength, 12, what's the highest strength? 16. Let, I'll tell you what, let's go a split between strength, strength and faith, if you see what I mean. Like, whichever adds up to the highest. Break out the calculator. Um, 13 and 9, 10 and 9, no. 16 and 9. 12 and 13, that's looking... Mm. 12 and 13 is really high so far. 9 and 8, no. 10 and 9, no. 7, 7, no. 12 and... F hang on, 12... That was 12 and 13. That's 12 and 14. Pyromancer? I suppose Faith was... Wasn't Pyromancy Faith in the first game? It's been a while, it's been a while, so I've kind of forgotten. But that's the highest so far. 12 and, 12 and 14, 12, no it is, it is that, Cleric. I mean, there's only two in it, but uh, is there any other stats that might dictate the best choice here? Um, like health is higher with that one. Endurance is higher with that one. Vitality is higher with that one. Mm. Hmm, I wonder what luck does. Mm. Dex is high. You know what, I think we'll sacrifice two faith just to start with. Just have a little boost in everything else. So I'm going to start with Pyromancer. A Pyromancer from a remote region who manipulates flame. Also an adept close... An ad... An, a, learn to read. Also an adept close combat warrior who wields a hand axe. Hmm, okay. 
A travelling cleric who collapsed from exha from exhaustion. I don't collapse from exhaust. Channels high faith to cast mineral. Okay, well, I'm going to go Pyromancer. I like the uh, little antler that sort of circlet that I'm wearing on my head. Okay. Hey, why not? Burial gift. Is this where I choose my little bonus? Life ring. Raises max HP. Um, that wasn't too great in the last game. Uh, Divine blessing. So a lot of these are the same items, so I'm familiar with a lot of them. Divine blessing was just like a full heal and it cures stuff. Hidden Blessing fully restores FP. Oh, now that wasn't... The Dark Souls 2 didn't have any FP. Mm, but that's like mana, I do believe. Uh, okay. Black Firebomb, not too bothered. Fire Gem. Material used to upgrade fire weapons. More appropriate for a warrior than pretty trinkets. A sovereignless soul. The sovereignless soul of one who slept beside you. Used to, oh, just souls, okay. Rusted gold coin. Mm, greatly increases item discovery for a short while. Okay. And then that's all the orbs of PvP things. Um, and then young white branch. Branch of a young white birch. Perhaps an offering of peace can be used to blend into environment, but only once. That, again, sort of sounds like PvP. Okay, so it, it doesn't sound like it's too important in this game. Um... I'm not interested in any consumables or, like, throwable weapons. Um, so I think I'm going to go with the only thing that seems like it's got any relevance, and that's Life Ring. Any permanence to it? Okay, face pre Okay, I'm not going to get too precious about this, but I will experiment a little bit. That's a whopper of a nose right there. Uh, I mean, hey... Commoner. The, some of these are very colourful. I've been tang- uh, This is Donald Trump. I've been tangoed. Uh. <laughs> Kick, that's, you shouldn't laugh at a face, you know what I mean? That, that's not nice, but uh... Damn! Damn, that's a sad lady right there. Lo oh, they've got like names. Commoner. Northern Warrior, Astora Noble, Dragon Academy Student, Karim Novice, I'm recognizing a lot of names here, Katarina, Onion Head, etc. Um, I, if you're new to my channel on this playthrough, uh, I try to read every description and piece together the story as much as possible. Um, please keep spoilers to a minimum uh, the best kind of feedback is like quality of life tips um, but I like piecing together the story uh, and obviously I hate outright spoilers so so that's where I'm at uh, okay anyway serpentine great swamp outcast I might just uh, she's got no blood in her face she'll go with no nope. She's also got bloodshot eyes. I, honest to God, I think I might be sticking with commoner. <laughs> like a boring... A boring son of a bitch. Build. Ooh. Okay. Very, very burly. That's a wide six-pack I've got there. Burly upper body. <laughs> I, it is true I do tend to skip leg day, but, uh... No. Large head. Damn. Isn't there just like... What's the difference between standard and burly? Am I an absolute basic bitch for just going standard and standard? It, it seems the most normal to me. <sighs> Appearance. Oh, here we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Gender. Okay, no, that's going to stay as it is. Age. Voice. Oh, right. Okay, this might make a big difference. I don't want an embarrassing death rattle, you know what I mean? Um, can I sample? I'm using a PlayStation controller and I've got Xbox prompts, which is not helpful, but it's the best I can do. Uh, I think that's that button. Alright, I'm going to be hearing that a lot. All of these are going to be on a loop until the end of the game. Ah, 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 
I'm leaning my... Jesus Christ. That's too young. That's like a 12-year-old running around killing stuff. I think we might go mature. Yeah, let's go mature. Physique. Musculature. I've got to go muscular. I wore the Desert Sorceress outfit in Dark Souls 2, revealing a six-pack, and I can't go back from that. Body hair. We're going to go standard. Build detail. Uh, I mean... Head. Oh, right, I see. Let's just... Let's reduce that again. I'm fine with the proportions, I'll be honest. The proportions are solid to me, there. Um, skin color? I mean, again. Um, I mean, honest to God. Hang on, base skin color and then skin color. Oh, I see. I mean, Jesus Christ. I've got some screen tearing. <laughs> my, no my nose is tearing on my monitor. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, okay. Sim similar face? Select face similar to present face. Uh, oh, right, I see. We can fine-tune and... Oh, this saves me a bunch of time. I could be here for like 30 hours. Left to my own device, I'd be here for legit like an hour. But uh, I can't subject all of you guys to that. So, let's choose the most heroic-looking face. I mean, that's that's just heroic right there. That's what that is. Facial. Can I can throw a beard on just to, to mix the, the genders. <laughs> beard. Hey. Now, I think we're going to go clean. I am playing a lady. Um, pupils, cosmetics. Ooh. Can, we, can I have, like, a scar? Come on, now. Everyone knows. Scars make you look cool. Tattoo mark. Can you change the location of it, yeah, Mark? I just, I want the quintessential scratch over the eye that all heroes have. Oh, hang on. It's going to be that, but can we move it? Uh, color tweak. Oh, right, I see. Here we go. Uh, hang on, down. All right, yeah, down. <laughs> it's going right over the eye like I survived a... Hell of a battle. But which eye? Oh, Jesus. Can I change the angle? <laughs> uh, ooh. <laughs> it's, it's important. Just bear with me. It's got to be perfect. Uh, left a bit more. Uh, oh. There you go. She, she's gone through some serious shit. And lived to tell the tale. Oh, I can change the color. I mean, regular scar color, but honestly, that's pretty perfect. Yeah, Sa save to favorites? Yes, just in case all goes to shit. Yes. Very good. Now this woman is ready to kick some ass and sit on the throne. And relight the fire. Um. Oh, hell yes. Why not? Oh, right. You can see specific items that you spawn with. I'm spawn. Um, spawn. I'm spawning with a pyromancy flame, which is interesting. In the first game, you had to be given that, I believe, by the first pyromancy you run into. I've got two rings. I've got a fire spot. Okay, so you start with a basic pyromancy. Okay then, why not? <sighs> Our journey begins here. Dark Souls Three. Are we going to spawn with just like rags? There's no way I get to spawn with those cool-looking clothes. Are we ri literally, like, rising from a grave? We are, aren't we? Well, that's a hell of an intro. We 
Already the story is confusing me. <laughs> I am a basic bitch. I, I try my best to understand. Uh, okay, my woman's my woman is just a swinging. Ooh, the UI is very different to what I've gotten used to in Dark Souls 2. Um, now let me just do a quick little once over of everything. The roll key is still the roll key. Um, having a PlayStation controller on PC is a pain in the ass. It, it took me several rounds of testing to get it working. Um, but it, that's that's block. Oh, right. Light attack isn't light attack. Uh, well, I'm pressing the R1 key. Mm -hmm. Can I read some helpful tips? Control camera. Okay. Well, oh shit. Well, there you go. There's one of <laughs> one of my three flasks gone. Um, X is just my use key. Triangle is to two hand. Now, if I hold that, will that two hand the shield? Right, okay, a lot of it is the same, and that's the parry key. Parrying is something I did a lot in the first game, but I, I completely gave up in the second game because there seemed to be a lot of variation and randomness with parrying, so I didn't bother for Dark Souls 2. Regular attack. Oh, that's regular attack. Okay. Okay, well, I'm, that's, I'm pressing what I'm used to being the heavy attack key, and that's light attack. I might have to change that at some point. Okay. Stro okay, that's just a lie. <laughs> that's just... That's, okay. Xbox controls the... Right, I, I'm, I might have to, like, sort my settings out here. Because, um, I'm pressing... The, what you think is the light attack key does nothing, and then the trigger does that. And that looks like a strong attack to me. But, you know. So I think I've got some controller weirdness. Okay, the more keenly observant of you may have noticed a little bit of a transition there, and my shirt has mysteriously changed colour. I've fixed the control issue that I had, and it took me three days. But that's now fixed, and I'm finally ready to start Dark Souls 3. Um, the controls, as far as I can tell, are exactly the same as the first two games. Um, but we're going to read all of these tutorial messages regardless. Um, and before we do, I've noticed the blue bar, which is FP. Now, I can't remember if the first game had FP. Because I'm thinking back now, and I think Elden Ring might have been the last time I saw a blue bar. I certainly didn't have one in Dark Souls 2. Um, and yeah, FP cost of certain th things. Let's, you know what, let's just give a few things a little bit of a read. Um, let's familiarize myself before we even start. Hmm. A crude hand axe that serves both as a weapon and a tool. Favoured by pyromancers of the Great Swamp, this axe has a short range but only moderate weight and reasonable damage. Easily wielded and more powerful than it appears. Skill... War cry. What? Uh, again, I'm getting flashes of Elden Ring, which was the first game I've ever played. Skill War cry. Temporarily boost attack. Skill Combustion. Skill Parry. Right. I don't think... I think that's new to Dark Souls 3, isn't it? Okay. Right. Well, let's try that out. Uh, I've got my fireball equipped. Yep. Okay. Let's just do the tutorial. Regular attack. It's finally working. Yeah. And then strong attack. Got it. I've got, I've got it down so far. Targets, lock and release. There we go. I like the, uh, I don't know, the more simplified modern look of the health bars, etc. It had a more rustic feel in Dark Souls 2. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Dark Souls 3 has officially started. Calm down. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, the camera sort of, the camera zoomed in just there. Interesting. Ah, uh, I bet that's the cinematic effects. 
Ah, ooh, that's really cool. I wonder if the repost has the same thing. Backstep and roll. Yeah, the controls are exactly the same as the uh, as the last game at the very least. Move and dash. Oh god, am I gonna have to run away from something? Uh, let's kill this thing here and get the loot. My first. Uh, fucking hell! Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, these things can lunge like the distance of seventy men. Jesus. Oh, hey, one shot kill. That's merciful. And the jump is ah, you press the left trigger in. I think I had that same control in Dark Souls 2, so. Ashen Ashen Estus Flask? That's added a thick Oh I bet that gives me blue back, just like Elden Ring. Let's give that a read. Inventory. In fact, I might want to look at various things here. Hey, it's already equipped the life ring I started with. That's good. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, this... I'm, it's like I'm seeing the evolution of these games, having started with Elden Ring, because I'm pretty sure this is brand new to Dark Souls, but I'm already familiar. Fill with Estus... Uh, hang on. Item effect, fill with Estus at bonfire restores HP and FP. Cool! Right, okay, so the fireball I've got... Oh, thank God. My biggest gripe with the spells in Dark Souls 2 was the... the hard spell limit. You could only cast like eight fireballs and that's it. Now there's no limit... except your, uh, your blue bar. Okay. Dude, I'm, I'm already a fan. Uh, well, that's a fog door up there, so that's the last place I'm going to go. Ooh, more loot. You know, let's not take our time. I've, I've got a feeling this is just a basic tutorial uh, little section. Let's not be scared <laughs> of making progress. Was that our first souls item? It was, okay. And just real quick, dark sign, that's... Doesn't that return you to a bonfire, but you lose souls? Hang on. The dark sign returns its bearer to the last bonfire rested at, or at the bonfire at Firelink Shrine. But at the cost of all souls. Uh, Firelink Shrine from the first game? We learned in the cutscene this place is called Lothric now. Um... But yeah, in Dark Souls 1 and 2, we learned that uh, this very same spot is the same- it is the same spot of multiple kingdoms th throughout the ages. But I guess this is literally the same place with Firelink Shrine? Cool. Parry- oh, here we go. Here we go! Um, parry, repel attack, repost. <sighs> I wonder if we get a cinematic thing on- on the repost. Oh, well, that went and, I went and balls that up, didn't I? Right, let's get back to the open. We've balls our first parry attempt. Oh, I got it. Yeah! And it's a two-hit ride. Brilliant. Oh, yes. Okay. I'm committing to the strength and faith thing with the idea of using big, heavy, two-handed weapons, like a, a pr proper Schweihander or a big axe or something. So, I probably won't be doing much parrying in this playthrough, but... I've got to practice now, you know what I mean? Oh, shit. Critical hit. Okay, let's do the old sneaky sneak. Uh... I know two-handing increases your damage, or your strength, but... I don't know if that count counts to, like, backstabs, etc. <laughs> I'm a fan of the, uh, the, the camera zooming. Cool. We're off to a flying start. The fuck was that? Okay. I am a fan of the parries. I don't know if I said this when I was wearing my red t-shirt at the start of this game. Three days ago for, for me, but, uh... 
I didn't do any parrying in the second game because it seemed wildly inconsistent. Like, the timing was off, and I think I learned later on that the timing was different with different shields, uh, etc. I wonder if it's the same in this game, or if it's consistent, finally. Use item. X. Oh, that's square on my controller. <laughs> right, okay, understood. Understood. I'm already down a flask. Um. Huh. No doubt we can increase the number of flasks we can use. Two-handed right attack. Uh, left trigger while two-handing. Use, uh, use right weapon skills. <gasps> Is that the war cry thing on the axe? Hang on. Right. Ooh. Um. Right. Okay, I see. That's the- Ooh! Oh, bring your pretty face to my axe! Yeah! Hey! Oh, they've, they've got a hell of a lunge. Fucking Jesus. So, right! It's all coming back to me now from the future, from Elden Ring. I like, I had a golden halberd, uh, and I had the golden vow ability. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Okay. What's up there? Pick a direction to go. We got a fog door. Or not a fog door. Let's go the not fog door direction, eh? Turn back. Turn back. Is a giant boulder gonna come my way and insta-kill me or something? <laughs> Heed the advice, or give a big old fuck you to the advice? Okay, I've, I can't. I've got to defy the order, come on. Who doesn't go this way, you know what I'm saying? I've got to see what's here. Alright, we've got, a, we've got something moving, and it's a... I wish I had the binoculars from the second game. <laughs> uh, okay, we've got a crystal boy. A crystal ball of sorts. Or like a crystal tree thing. And I see loot. Uh, right, okay. Okay, am I about to get absolutely fucked? <laughs> I think I am. Okay, okay. Oh, it's like a crystal ferret. Oh my god, what the fuck? Whoa! <gasps> A little bit of shit came out! What the fuck, man? Oh, is it- is this- <clears throat> Is this designed to just kill you and humble you in the- in the very beginning of the game? Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god, um... Fucking hell! Right, okay, I want my fireballs at the ready. Can I fireball this motherfucker? Oh god. Oh god. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Have a fireball, you big crystal ferret fuck. Oh my god, I want the loot at the very least. Oh my god, right, okay, okay, have another fireball then. Keep having fireballs, bitch! What the fuck? Right, let's get the loot. Just in case I die, I want the loot. So, oh, it's just, just, it's just souls. What the fuck? Fuck, you know. Right, keep having fireballs. Right, okay, I wasn't expecting boss right at the start of the game, I should be honest. Fuck! You know. I just need to breathe. I just need to breathe. Oh, look at its health. There's no way you're supposed to be able to defeat this. Oh! Oh, that's cool. The crystal thing blocked the fireball. Fuck you now. Right, okay, this is definitely meant to humble new players. There's no way I'm gonna survive this. Yeah! Yeah! Fuck! I bet this thing is, like, completely resistant to, uh, physical damage or something, isn't it? Giant crystal lizard. Oh, I've got a headache already. This doesn't bode well for the rest of the game. Jesus Christ. Although, you know what? I've got it down to, like, half health. Oh my god. As long as it doesn't, like, 
Oh! As long as it... Oh, it's standing up now. Fucking hell. Good! Oh! No! Say it ain't so! Oh my god. Jesus Christ, I need to heal, I need to heal! Oh, fuck! Oh, I'm so, all right, I'm out of blue as well. Let's eat. Let's drink the blue and get some more blue so we can cast some more fireballs. <laughs> Dude, that swipe is reminding me of the tiger uh, DLC bosses from Dark Souls 2. It's the same swipe animation. Right, I'm guessing that will freeze me or something. Right, I'm gonna back off, back off. Just, this is this thing is fucking crazy. <sighs> right, I've nearly got him in half health. Bloody hell. Oh god. I hey, I mean, I wasn't intending on this playthrough being a pyromancy playthrough, but hey, so far. It's doing me good. Oh shit. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Those crystals are annoying. Ooh, back off, back off, back off. Bloody hell. If I can do this first time. Oh! Oh! I can't do it first time at all, can I? Right, I'm out of flasks now. Right, let's, uh, let's just try and- oh god. Let's try and use my axe. Fuck it. Oh, I don't like it being this close. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. I'm gonna go no commentary for a bit. God damn. Oh my god. Right, that might be a good time to attack it. Whoa! Okay, it's got a tail swipe. Oh my god. I should have heeded the advice. Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god, it's going apeshit. You know, I probably should use the rest of my, uh... Oh, for god's sake! Never mind. Never mind, eh? Fucking hell! Oh, I'm so fucking dead. Oh, I hit it! I did it! Oh, fucking Jesus. Oh my god, I need to like... Hit his leg! Yeah! I've, I've legitimately got a headache. <laughs> Hit it just once. That's all I need. Oh, I, you, oh, can you imagine doing this first time? Come on, I can do it. Oh my god, it's actually got... Whoa, 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 calm down. Oh my god, it's got like combo attacks. Get away from me! Oh my god. Oh fucking a Jesus! Christ! No! <laughs> oh, I thought I might have done it first time. Well, fuck you. Oh. Typical. I almost had it first attempt. You know what? If I'd have had all three flasks, I might have been able to do that first time. Oh! I haven't... I haven't gone hollow after dying. Interesting. The second game has programmed me to look ugly after I die. Just to, like, rub salt in the wounds. I've got full health this time, though. And f and full flasks. And I know what to expect. Oh, 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 fuck. 
Oh, well, I'm fucked, aren't I? <laughs> oh, I did better the first time. Right, okay. I, I see what it was saying now when it said turn back. <laughs> as long as I'm pretty. Right, let's actually do this. Let's pull my head out of my ass and actually defeat this crystal boy. Ooh. <gasps> Uh. Fuck you! Oh god, it's on my ass! Uh... I'll just melee. Running attack! Ooh, I'm getting confident. Ooh, I'm- alright, I'm overconfident here. <laughs> oh, fucking Jesus Christ! Let's not lock on either. Oh god, I'm all right. Oh, don't eat me. This, by the way, this thing looks amazing. Dude. For, for like the first boss in the game. This thing uh, looks really awesome. It's got like a crystal beard. <laughs> It may look awesome, but that's not going to stop me from putting his crystal balls on my mantelpiece as a trophy when I destroy this motherfucker. In the foot, bitch! Oh my god. Oh my god, right, th th I'm getting far too confident. <laughs> In the foot! Oh, this thing's actually just like a basic bitch. In the face! In the foot. Nope, never mind, I'll just miss. Right, I've just got to get the, get in the hits when I can't- Oh, shit, balls, man. I've just got to get in the attacks. As and when I can. Oh, fucking shit, man! No! Heal! Ooh, ah! Fuck! He's backed me into a fucking corner. Jesus. This thing actually... Is this gonna turn out to be like a basic enemy by the end of the game? And it's... Jesus Christ. Right, I've gotta go no commenter here, I'm just gonna keep dying. Right, come at me. I'm not scared of you. Right, come on. Running attack. Oh, never mind. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's get some fireballs on it. It does do pretty good damage, actually. again. Oh, for God's sake. Damn it. Yeah, let's use as much fire as possible. As long as it doesn't have crystals blocking the way. Oh, God. I'm not scared of your swipey tail no more. Jesus Christ. You know, with that blue flask, I've got plenty of, uh, of blue. <laughs> That's officially what the resource is now. Blue. Right, hang on. It's crystals will block the fireball. Don't waste any blue. More blue. Oh, God. I need to get around it. Get around it. Right. Right, oh, I've got this. This is just a basic bitch crystal lizard. Uh, you know what, let's finish it off with melee, like a true warrior. <laughs> Fucking hell! Have it! 
No! Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. I can... <laughs> I need new pants. <sighs> Titanite scale. Ooh. Let's give that a read. And I got like 4,000 souls. Worth it. How did I not get an achievement for that? Bloody hell. Inventory. I'm guessing it's just an upgrade. Uh, weapon uh, thing. Da -da 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 -da. Titanite altered by a soul. It reinforces soul transposed weapons to plus four. That's clearly like infusion, like an upgrade. Weapons forged by soul transposed. <laughs> In rare cases, crystal lizards devour souls. So that's what it was. Literally a crystal lizard. Growing to monstrous proportion and leaving these great scales. Okay, well, I'm glad I did that. Got the loot. That was completely optional, wasn't it? <laughs> I've been going for like an hour and it was an entirely optional boss. But that's good practice. The game broke me in early to the deaths and the runbacks, etc. Okay. Right. Fog door. So that, I mean, we've got a fog door here. And that wasn't even a boss. <laughs> and I'm already getting slapped. Change weapons, toggle items. Oh yeah, I'm already... Yeah. I only have one blue flask. Clearly, the number of flasks are going to uh, increase at some point. To oh, I thought this was a fog door. It's just... It was just the sky. Okay. Cool! I'm a fan of sky boxes. Dude, this is like some proper Lord of the Rings, like Beacons of Gondor uh, mountain range. Cool. Jesus Christ. Well, it's interesting that the graveyard we spawned in is at the top of a mountain. And I see our first bonfire. Yeah. Enkindle. Light your first bonfire. Oh, I need to turn on uh, overlay recording so you can see the achievements. First bonfire. Cool. Rest. Okay. Cemetery of Ash. Whew, we've made progress. Is this the end of the tutorial then? Uh, right, so I've only got one blue flask for now, but I guess we increase both of them somehow. Rest at Bonfire restores HP and Estus Supply. Gotcha. Okay. Right, we've got a, a courtyard and more basic bitches. I'm not scared of these guys no more. They're just tutorial basic enemies. Who are getting stronger, apparently. They're surviving my running attack and they weren't before. Hey! Anyone else want some? Oh, okay. Oh, she's... Right, that, that clearly wasn't a boss. It didn't even have a name. So I'm guessing we're going to have a proper tutorial boss. At least probably going to slap me sideways. The only tutorial boss I can think of is the one in Elden Ring. Uh, oh, can I jump to that? Yeah, I still remember the spider boss at the start of Elden Ring slapping me. And and I think it, you were meant to die, sort of a thing. Ooh. Well, uh, hang on, was there a way down here? Yes, there was. Oh. There is, but there was, there was another way. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Oh, this one's got a shield. 
Uh, shall, shall I? I'm going to be getting a two-handed weapon pretty soon, and I won't be parrying anymore. So shall I? Shall I just have some fun with parries while I still can? Nope. You know what? Okay, I take all of that back. Let's just kill the motherfucker. Fucker, no! Oh my god. Right, it is a pretty short-range weapon, this. Alright, come on, come on, bring it at me. Firebomb times five, worth it. Ooh, alright, I'm already a flask down. Uh, let's take this opportunity to look at my stats and stuff real quick. Uh... Or just the status screen. I haven't even looked at it yet. Covenant. Ah, oh, there's Covenants again. Okay. Level 8. I guess the different classes start at different levels. Souls. Required souls. Okay, this is all the same so far. Attunement will be spell slots, I'm guessing. In fact... Oh. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. <laughs> HP. Okay, yeah, so Vigor is health, but it's also Frost Resistance in this game. Uh -huh. Attunement is Blue Bar and Spell Slots. So, Stamina and Endurance is also Resistance to Lightning and Bleeding. Right, okay. This is different. Vitality is Physical Defense. Also governs Equip Low, that's what I'm used to. And Poison Resistance. Okay, so in this game, all your resistances are, like, tied into all the various stats. Strength is resistance to fire as well, and dex is resistant to something, I'm guessing. Ah, faster spell casting, and less fall damage. I mean, okay, this is a bigger mix of random stats in this game. Int is spell potency. Brack, oh, here we go. Pyromancy is affected by both faith and intelligence. Magic defense is... So Int is Magic Defense, Faith is Dark Defense. Well, this is what Luck is. Attribute Governing, Item Discovery, Ups Bleeding and Poison Resistance, and Curse Resistance. Okay, right. You see, you need a little bit of everything in this game. Health, FP, Stamina, Equip Load, Poise. I've got no Poise. You got all your damages, your resistances. So Frost is new in this game, I think. I wonder if once Frost builds up and, and hits the limit, I wonder if you slow down for a certain amount of time. Alright, let's keep going. I wonder if Frost magic is a thing in this game. I mean, logic dictates it will be. Right, dash and jump. You do have to da dash to that. Can I do this first time? Ooh, I did. Titanite Shard. Whew, cool. Right. I, I guess we've got to get out of tutorial land before I can level up or, like, you know, upgrade. F plunging attack. Is there going to be an enemy right beneath me? There is. <laughs> I gotta... Y you gotta love a good tutorial. Yeah! Oh, yes. Get slapped. Oh. And that sucker that'll teach me for not looking at a motherfucker. Uh, boss arena. Is that Artorius in there? Oh god, right, okay, no, that's it. That's the end to end of tutorial boss right there. Um You know what? Should we not be a baby back bitch? And start the that with two flasks. I already tried that with the crystal ferret, and uh, it got me killed, so... I'm just gonna assume it is an actual boss and get full flasks and health again. Okay, what do we have here? <laughs> Perfect circle. I mean, this is a boss arena if I ever saw one. Giant grave. I hope Firelink Shrine kind of looks like Firelink Shrine, if you see what I mean. I, w I want to recognize it. Dude. He's got like a colossal... 
was gonna say spear. That's not a spear. That's a fucking halberd. <laughs> All right, that he's got a bad case of the worms and some serious looking armor. Right, shield isn't gonna be no fucking use. I'm a fireball. This guy. He's got a sword in him. Remove the sword. Right. Okay. <laughs> Understood. I'm, I'm guessing door is locked. Oh, okay. Let's begin. Whew. I've got this. Let's get a couple of melee attacks. I assume it is a boss and not a friendly guy. Let's go do a couple of melee attacks and see how resistant he is. Because <laughs> I might just fall back on pyromancy immediately. Hello? Please don't hate me for removing the sword. Can I speak to him? Can I hit him? Oh, I can hit him. Oh, I'm doing damage. <gasps> he is just, he is just fucking me automatically. Right. His name is Iodex Gundir. Fuck. Oh, fucking hell. Oh my God. Just, just back off, back off. Entirely back off and heal. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh. Right, I should start playing properly and timing my attack, should I? Oh. oh my god. Oh, I've done, like, no damage to him. You know what, let's, uh... Let's lock on and play properly. Play like a professional. Let's go past him. We always know that that works in these games. <gasps> Jesus Christ. Fucking oh, Jesus. Jesus! What? He was looking the other way. I'm calling bullshit. Right, I'm down to... Okay, time to fireball. This is ridiculous. Have some fire. Is it good damage? Oh, it is good damage. What the fuck? What the fuck? Um, he's turned into a giant worm dog. Even see, he's too big. He's too big. That's what she said. What is this? It's like a rat worm. Oh, I've got no health at all. I'm fucked. I am just fucked. What, what? How was that tiny little knight's body containing that much biomass of worm rat? The fuck. What a what a phase two transformation that was from a regular knight into a giant worm rat Th that's bigger than the entire arena. So my camera is like just just fucking me already. Jesus! Right, that shield is is truly useless. Ain't no sh ain't no parrying a giant worm rat. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, I've got, a ch I've got a chime straight away. Ah, I mean, that'll go in my left hand. I mean, I'll throw it on, but I don't have any spells. Uh, let's read it as well. Sacred chime for casting miracles of the gods. Chimes such as these are often given to clerics who become undead. Equip a talisman or a sacred chime to cast miracles. Must be attuned at a bonfire. Skill, ooh, gentle prayer. Restores HP for a period of time. Oh, that, oh that's handy, like a built-in. I'm guessing that uses FP to, to do that. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Hmm. I should have known I'd get absolutely slapped by the tutorial boss right away. <laughs> Now we've got a fog door. <laughs> Is he just going to be in worm mode, or am I going to have to, like, get through phase one again? Uh, I wonder if this is a case of, is actually really easy, the big, the big version, once you're close and locking on? I'm going to use my fireballs, I think, on the night quick version. 
I reckon the big dog is easier than I first thought. <laughs> Fucking hell! I want right. I want my souls. I ain't wasting my crystal lizard souls. There we go. We're doing good. Sort of. Oh god, here we go, here we go. Can I just... I wonder if I can defeat this entire thing with fireballs. <laughs> right, here we go. I'm gonna heal to full, because this thing will just end up killing me. Fucking hell! Right, let's get... Heal. Heal. Now. Heal now, heal fast. Right, I'm gonna ignore the giant monster. It's still doing melee attacks. Have you noticed? I've noticed. Jesus Christ. Right, if you can attack me, please. Oh my god. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Dark Souls 3 has begun. I'm getting fucking slapped by a thing so large I can't even physically see the slap. I'm just, I'm alive, I am slapped, and I am dead. I did notice, though, that even when it turns into giant worm rat mode, it was still doing melee attacks with the halberd, so I thought, you know what, now I've seen that, I'll be able to just keep dodging the melee. And then it kept doing swipes with its big rat worm face, in addition to the halberd attacks. Okay. I've got this. I just do not want to lose those souls. Otherwise, all that crystal death, crystal ferret death was for nothing. Uh, let's just go ham with the fucking fireballs. After I get my souls. I mean, I have a freebie right off the bat and then I'll run around him. I said I'll run around him. I get my damn souls. Jesus. Fuck! Oh, uh, you know what? I might want to put points in decks just for the uh, cast speed. <laughs> oh, you, oh, I've just noticed it does use stamina to cast a spell. You know what, can I just keep doing this shit? Dude. Fucking hell! He's just on you! What the fuck? Right, okay. Okay. I've got a plan. <laughs> Oh, I should have known I'd get fucked by a basic tutorial boss. But I've got a plan now, and the plan can't fail. My new plan is to fireball... I mean, what would I do if I was a, not a pyromancer? I'd be getting fucked. I'm already relying on the faith. So, my plan is fireball the living shit out of it to make it go worm rat mode, and then pop a blue boy... By which I mean the, the blue flask pop that whilst it's transitioning because I ran out of blue there and if I if I hadn't have run out I'd have, I'd have just I think I'd have killed it with one more fireball please don't accuse me of cheesing it though I mean I just, you, you, you know I chose a class to start with and it happened to start with what seems like quite a powerful spell 
it's not cheesing it. It's it's tactical usage of a starting class spell. <laughs> it still requires some tactics, using the flask at the appropriate time. Right, I, but I want those. I do want the the souls first, and I died on the other side of it. Oh shit! Fuck! No! Right, stamina, stamina, stamina. Go, 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 go. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. Right. Have another one. Oh god. Have another one. And another one. <laughs> These do have a maximum range. And another one. Yeah. And another one. And pop that. And then have some fireballs for days. You ugly rat wormy guy with a tail. before it explodes and kills me. Oh, fuck my life. Air of fire. A, ch a thousand achievements. Embrace the flame, become a host of- oh, I missed half of that. Coiled sword. Right. I've got a feeling that was like a really easy boss and that most people doing a blind playthrough probably do that first time. <laughs> I'd, fuck it. I did a good thing. I defeated the boss. Let's, let's just light the bonfire. How many times did you die to that boss first uh, on your first like playing of this game? Jesus. Iodex Gundus. It said Air of Flame defeated, I think, didn't it? I wonder if there's some relevance to that, or if it says that every time you defeat a boss. Did I get a special soul or something? I don't think so. Uh, I'd got a coiled sword, though. That's what was shoved in his chest. Thrust enshrine bonfire to activate bonfire warp. Activate... Uh, well, warping in the first game was literally fast traveling between bonfires. Huh. Okay. Um, let's read that. Sword missing from the shrine bonfire. I assume that means the main central hub bonfire, the, the filing shrine one. Cannot be equipped as a weapon. Thrust into the shrine bonfire to restore its power and enable travel between bonfires. This sword is only bequeathed to chosen ash, as judged by the, the Iodex. Oh, my hair, fuck me. Get out of my face. Who awaits the arrival of ash as a scabbard? Okay. Okay. Uh, well, it's sounding to me like it's a one-time use thing, and you can use it on chosen bonfires, you know? Uh... Well, I can't, I, I can't just use it on this one, so I'll keep going. But if I'm right, that is interesting. Or I wonder if it just enables fast travel for all bonfires permanently. Ooh, my symbol on the top left has gone all fiery. Mmm. Because of what I absorbed from that big mouse worm fucker. Hmm. I wonder if I needed that officially to enter the world of the living or something. It's turned my body all fiery and cool looking. Dude. That's just like the ashen curse in Sea of Thieves. <laughs> it's exactly the same. Broken straight sword. 
Uh, is that an, an upgrade? It is not. Okay. Open menu. Uh. Okay. That's a strange tutorial f to get so late. I f you'd figure that'd be the first thing. Uh, we can climb up. Let's go this way. Oh, I wouldn't be able <gasps> Fucking hell! You dangerous little bastards! Fuck you. Bloody hell. Oh, it wouldn't be a proper Dark Souls episode, would it, without, like... Multiple deaths on multiple bosses, getting skewered by basic bitch enemies. <laughs> I'm loving it already. It's everything I thought it would be. Right, we've got Return of the Homeward Bones. Uh, this is the problem with playing these games back to back. I can't remember what's in the first game versus just the second game. Did the first game have bones? I think it did, but I think I never used them. <laughs> hmm. I already missed the feather you get in the second game, which is, like, unlimited bones, basically. Now, can you sneak up to these fuckers? Oh, hell yeah. Right, I'm, I'm loving the fact that you are officially invincible during the animation. Fuck! Ooh, one thing I've noticed, it hasn't given me a jump attack um, tutorial. That, that. But I'm glad to see you can still do it. Are you gonna come at me? I'll just attack you, sir. You missed. Oh, basic enemies can heal. Excuse me. Yeah, the jump attack. If it's half as strong as the one in Dark Souls 2, I'll be doing that all the time. Mm. Okay. Fading soul. Now, hang on a sec. Did I get the thing down there? I did. Ooh. I am getting Cemetery in the first game vibes. Hang on. Is this the layout of the... Filing Shrine? No, surely not. The cemetery is similar to the one in uh, next to Filing Shrine, though. Like the edges of the cliff sort of a thing. <gasps> oh! 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 Oh, you bastards. If it turns out this is the same cemetery and we are in Filing Shrine, I'll just be so excited to see it again. Ember. I've, sorry, hang on, I've got fucking... All, all the horror and all the deaths is putting literal hairs in my face and my eyeballs. Just hang on, I need to... need to neaten my face. Look pretty again. How are we doing? We're doing good? Yes. Okay. Alright, what was that ember I just got? Ember. Gain strength of flame, boosting HP until death. Okay. No unkindled. That's what I am, isn't it? Can ever truly claim the embers that burn within a champion's bosom, which is precisely what makes their yearning for warmth so keen. Gain the strength of flame and increase max HP until death. Uh, hang on. With the strength of fire, the summoning signs of Unkindled become visible. I don't want to be doing any summoning or PvP. Uh, so I'll be able to see other people's signs and join their world. And Seekers of Embers can be summoned to join in cooperation. Right, okay. I might not be popping those then. I don't want to be summoning motherfuckers. Hmm. Okay. 
by the way, the screen tearing was so bad in this game that I had to uh, put V-Sync on, which is, is something I didn't even do in the first two games, but I had to for this because the screen tearing was so bad. Um, but the result of which is I'm feeling a, quite a bit of delay on my controls. There's like, there's like, I mean, like, you guys can't really see, but there's like a half a second before the dodge happens. And I'm going to blame that for my multiple boss deaths. Firelink Shrine. Or? Or? I mean, I appreciate the cool new look and that we can clearly get higher in this place and start climbing shit. But this ain't no Firelink Shrine from the first game. We know that thousands of years passes between games, etc. I don't know if this is before the first game or like way, way later in a different kingdom, but uh... I'm thinking back, the first game had a... The Firelink Shrine was a circular looking area, but it was so run down and fucked and ancient looking. I'm starting to think this is a prequel. And this is what it looked like before the thing turned into crumbled ruins. Inter interesting. That's not the crestfallen dude, is it, from the first game? Hello? Friendly? Ah, another one roused from the sleep of death. He is we are not alone. <laughs> we unkindled are worthless. Can't even die right. <laughs> he is crestfallen, isn't he? And they'd have us seek the Lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. But we're talking true legends with the metal to link the fire. We're not fit to lick their boots. I will link the fire. I did it in the first game, I did it in the second, and by fucking god I'll do it in the third. Collapse. You know. When I saw him and I was I said, is that the crestfallen warrior? I was joking. He is just as sad and miserable <laughs> as the crestfallen warrior. Don't you think? Can I get a name check, please? <laughs> is it literally the crestfallen warrior? Cause I'm sure the same dude in the first game laughed at you as well. What a sick joke. Asking us to seek the Lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. We're talking true legends, those who would link the fire. We're not fit to lick their boots. Right, he's repeating. <laughs> I'll speak to him again. We've got multiple thrones here. What a sick right, asking he... us to talk. Okay, as long as I've exhausted the option. Ooh, is that like the uh, the Emerald Herald of this game? Uh, I apologize for this, but I can't remember if the first game had uh, a lady, a main central lady. Because in the second game, the Emerald Herald is kind of everything. She, she is the person you level up at, and she joins you throughout the game. I can't remember if the first game had an equivalent. Hello? Is she blind? Welcome to the bonfire, unkindled one. I am a firekeeper. Ah, okay. I tend to the flame and tend to thee. The lords have left their thrones and must be delivered to them. Okay. To this end, I am at thy side. So I'm not going to be killing them. Ah, here we go. So firekeepers level you up, etc. Well... I like your, your hairstyle, but I like your robe even more. That's a sick looking dress robe. That's proper Lulu black mage sort of dress. Ashen one, to be unkindled is to be a vessel for souls. <gasps> Sovereignless souls will become thy strength. I will show thee how. Ashen one, bring me souls. Plucked from their vessels. Okay, so fire keepers. The Emerald Herald in Dark Souls 2 has the job of a firekeeper. Hmm. 
Ashen One to be unkindled oh, right, to okay. be a vet sovereign. I will show Ashen One. Okay. Right, well, let's do it. I've, I've killed the boss and I've even killed the optional crystal ferret. Very well. Then touch the darkness within me. Take nourishment from these sovereignless souls. Desperately trying to not be a dirty bastard. I shall not touch the darkness. Well, uh... Bloody hell! Oh, it was worth killing the crystal ferret. Uh, you know... I meant every word I said about strength and faith being my main shit. Let's get them both to, like, equal level. At least 16 and 16 to start with. As I'm talking shit, she's reciting poetry or something. We'll pay attention to that after we've leveled up, but... Uh, I, I don't just want strength and faith, though. I want some stamina, etc. Uh, I'll do that for now. I kind of want to get more of an idea in combat about how much stamina I feel like I'm lacking, if that makes sense. Because I might go deep into, like, stamina and, and so on at some point. <sighs> yeah. Right. How many souls have I got? Uh, just, just so I can see. Right, I've got one more level in me. Let's just put one in health, you know? Why not? 12 is a nice round number. Okay. Ashen one to sovereign. I will show Ashen one. She's repeating. Okay. Farewell, Ashen one. May the flames guide thee. It was nice to meet you. I'm sure I'll see you again. Now, is that blacksmith Andre? The, the one that eluded me in my Dark Souls 1 playthrough. Oh god. Horrible memories. Dude, this is cool. I wonder if there's some relevance to these specific thrones, and we've got to re return them to these very thrones that they're talking about. I did watch the um, cutscene back again in my previous day's recording, and I noticed it mentioned three names of people, not four. These games seem to have, like, some obsession with the number four, but yeah. I specifically noted it only mentioned three lords. Um, and there's, there's a dude up there on that throne. We'll come back to that person. A pleasure to make thine acquaintance. <gasps> Is it one of the fire ladies, the red ones? The humble handmaid of the shrine. Ah. Weapons, armor, trinkets, and spells. Um, is this one of the actual I same ones? Little things to ease the burden of a weary traveller. And yes, I'm undead too, but not so charitable as to give my goods away. <laughs> well, at least she's honest. Fashion one, fetch souls and bring them to me. As is thy want. Okay. Um, so she wants <laughs> souls too. Oh, she's laughing. Yeah, Dark Souls 2, that room full of red women. <laughs> um, they were fire keepers in Dark Souls 2. And there was one lady in the room, which was a handmaiden. But she is talking and looks like the fire women, the old ones. What she got for me then? Dude. She got your prism stones? Poison? Yeah, it's all the same. It doesn't give. It makes my job a lot easier, having recognised the vast majority of this shit. <sighs> Repair, yeah. Poison, fire bombs, prisms, more bones. Da, 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 da. Ah, this is more Elden Ring looking stuff. Finger and. Uh. I'm gonna make a point in this game of not using any sorceries. Um, I just want faith stuff. So, I'm not gonna be looking at basic int spells. However, yeah. Oh, I should have saved some souls. That requires eight faith, I think. So I didn't even need to level up faith, but uh, I'd be a dick to not buy that. I can just afford it. Torch. Uh, a simple makeshift torch made from an oily rag. Torches such as these are the easiest way to illuminate one's surroundings, but their use comes at the cost of occupying a hand. 
This is exactly the same as the second game. Can be used as a rudimentary weapon. I wonder if you can light sconces again. Talisman. I've already got a chime, thankfully. Shields. Yeah, okay. That's all items. Okay. Um, sell items? Nah. Ashen One, if my wares are not to thy satisfaction, bring me umbral ash. With ash, I'll fashion new wares. Okay. Is it not our sorry fate to sup on death? So she can use ashen stuff for unique items, maybe? I wonder if that's boss drops. I wonder if you get like a special ash and item when you kill a boss. Knowest thou of that soppy gossip? That cordial intrusion layeth the path to embers. And so thou art in need of a soap. Oh, right, okay. Ashen one. Then thy pockets will overflow with souls to trade. Is that me. telling me I need embers to do PvP to get a lot of souls? Okay. Well, Ashen One, bring me Umbral Ash, ash is the I name fashion. of it. Okay. Is it not our sort? <laughs> okay. She's still laughing at me. Right. I've got a. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're addicted to souls. Uh, I've got some souls items. I'll be using them here and now, regardless. So let's let's just pop them all. Uh, but before we spend them, I'll speak to what is clearly a blacksmith. Um, hang on. Fuck. Please tell me this is... What's his name? Was it Andre? In the... The fucking tower? Outside the garden and sense fortress of the first game. I think it was Andre Firebeard? But they all kind of look the same. Okay. Hello there. Please tell me to meet you. Well, a newcomer, I see. Sounds the I same. Am Andre. <gasps> I serve at this shrine. Are you like 7,000 years old? Smith, forging weapons. You're in search of the Lords of Cinder, I trust. It's fucking loud in my ears. Well, some journey, I'd wager. You require good arms. Let me smith you weapons. I am a smith. Such is my purpose. I've got my axe to his throat. You will smith me weapons, bitch. It's literally Andre. So, yeah. Can you tell me more about this land, please? Weapons and protection are sturdy enough by and large. But when overused, they'll eventually break. Okay. When their durability is low, repair becomes a necessity. Use a powder. Or simply rest at a bonfire. I'm guessing it's the same as the but second the game, though. Chance impel them break. Bring them me. I'll hammer them back into shape. They take no pleasure in breaking, I assure you. <laughs> so, handle them with care. Does my axe have feelings? Right, I'm noticing a lot more similar similarity to the second game than the first one. Like, in terms of systems and just stuff. Although characters and place is clearly more like the first game. There are two ways to smith weapons. Simple reinforcement is one, and infusion the other. Yep. Reinforcement is straightforward. It strengthens a weapon without altering its property. Infusion is a more advanced form of smithing that infuses an element. Oh, I know. Reinforcement requires titanite. And infusion requires gems. Gotcha. I've got I've stones, got a fire gem. I'll do this with him. It's my purpose after all. He's got mighty eyebrows, not to mention the beard. Your weapons are your only friends. Forge them well, and they won't let you down. Understood. Hurrah! Uh I might as well exhaust his shit. Ah, another matter. Infusing weapons with gems requires a special kind of coal. Oh. My humble coals won't be any use infusing more unusual gems. I know, it's an awful shame, but it's all I have. Translation, go loot some fancy ones. Please don't give me that look. Believe it or not, I'm quite thin-skinned. 
I can see your thin skin, sir, and your six back and crazy thorax. So, yeah, I need to go find the, uh, clearly, find the upgrade shit for the better shit. I like all the familiarities, but also changes to the game so, so far. Right, so we can reinforce. I'm guessing that needs something special. Ah. A lot, Estes. I know what well, that'll be immediately. I'll be able to choose a certain number of blue flasks versus health flasks, just like Elden Ring. I see. Mm -hmm. Well, when I made this pyromancer, I genuinely didn't... Before installing this game, I never thought I'd go pyromancy. I just wanted faith for the miracles and so on. I'd like to not really lean into fire as much as I can. I know I kind of lent into it for that tutorial, boss, but that's because I suck. But I I'd prefer to try and get into your melee a little bit more and only use fire if I need to. So I'm going to stick with just three and one for now. Or maybe even four and zero. I'll keep one just for now. Just because it's nice to have one, but yeah. I'd like to prioritize melee and and try and save the blue for buffs etc and not pyromancy i'm guessing he can sell you some shards maybe oh by the way if you find any estus shards bring them here understood you sir use to reinforce either of your estus flasks without those flasks you'd want for life or focus either of them and they'll always stay with you hang on does it why not treat them well huh? <laughs> right both previous games you could strengthen the flasks and then all separately increase the number of them i'm hoping i don't have to choose which one to boost the blue or the red because Hmm. Weapons and protection, but when over, when they're durability, use a button. Right, is this okay. So, okay, right. Be careful. I don't want to see my work squandered. Understood. <laughs> well, thanks for the info. If you could quickly tell me your age, I'd much appreciate it. Because, dude... He's also moved home. He wasn't in Firelink Shrine in the first game, either. Hmm... Dude, this place is so different. I mean, where do we go first? Well, let's keep speaking to people, etc. Because, uh... At least in the first game, we had direction of, of where to go. The bells told and we needed to go up to a bell and down to a bell, etc. But we haven't been told yet where to go or what to do. Oop. Read engraving. Yorm the Giant, that was one of the ones mentioned in the cutscene of the profaned capital. He was the big giant with a crown and uh, yeah, I remember. Watchers of the Abyss. That was one of the three mentioned, but it mentioned a different name as well. Um, yeah, this one. Ah, oh, oh, Holy King Lothric, last hope of his line. Oh, I thought Lothric was the name of this land. Hmm. I know Lothric here. Uh, last one to King Lothric. Ludleth the Exiled. Can we drop down and say hello? Aldrich of the Deep. That was the one that looked like the Kraken. Okay. Well, let's see if we can drop down and say hello. Hello? Oh, thou art unkindled, and a seeker of lords. I am Ludleth of Corland. Look not in bewilderment, as I say. I linked the fire long ago, becoming the Lord of Sin. Really? If substantiation be thy want, set thine eyes upon my child corpse. So this guy was a... This... Oh, uh, yeah. Cadaver. No need to be coy. 
have a closer look. So this guy was like a player of the first game. He uh, he linked the fire. Interesting. No star of our purpose. Five thrones will take five lords. Understood. As okay. Evening for the linking of the fire. The fast fading flame must be linked to preserve this world. Understood. That's textbook Dark Souls. A reenactment of the first linking of the fire. So it is. I became a lord of Cinder. I may be but small, but I will die a colossus. So you need five lords. We've got one, so we need four. We need to kill four, I guess. Uh. Huh. No style of five through the fire right. A reenact. So I may. Understood. So we now, now. we clearly need four more. There's the number four that we've come to know and love. Oh. All oh, right. Okay. The Kraken's chair is, like, covered in blood. Huh. Then we've got, like, Fire King one. One covered in chains and swords. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. Now, just real quick, <laughs> once again, um... What did this one say? This big old chair? Yo oh, okay, that's why it's big. A giant's ass had to fit on that chair. Embed the coiled sword? I mean, yeah. I did think it was strange there was no fire here. Do it. Let there be light. Cool. Yeah. My health bar is significantly larger for only putting one point into vigor. Right, tune spell. Let's put the heal on. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I can either have the fireball, which has served me well, or the heal. Let's go heal, I guess. FP cost 103. What was a fireball? Oh no, sorry. Oh, it was only 10 for a fireball. It's 30 for a heal. I can only do like one or two heals, I guess. Hmm. Oh, well, no. I've got 103 and it costs 27. Okay. Storage box. That'll come in handy later. Burn undead bone shard. I bet that's what boosts the amount that you heal with a flask. Don't have any. Okay. What's the travel thing look like then? Okay. So, uh, Firelink shrine is this place. I will. F ah! Select bonfire to travel to. Ember indicates host of em host of embers present. Uh, let's just. Does this cost anything to do? Let's just quickly see what happens. Let's just try it one time. Make sure it's all free of cost, like free of charge, etc. One of the biggest ball aches of the first game is you you unlock the fast traveling like right at the fucking end, kind of. I wonder if that is how we are supposed to get to the next bit of progress in the game, because that's interesting that that's a fire we haven't been to. Anyway, let's get back to Filing Shrine and just keep running everywhere. Let's just start running in holes and shit. Uh, do I do I have a torch? E mm, torch. Uh, no, that's a no on the torch. Okay. Oh god. This place is fucking huge. Let's check out blacksmith area first. 
<laughs> Make a decision. Okay. I wonder if there's not going to be anything here, but this this place will slowly populate with NPCs as I progress through the game. This is a very sort of haunted filing shrine, I've got to say. Even the music is kind of somber and like a bit depressing. <laughs> very beautiful. Somber singing. It's like Milfinito is still with me, still singing away. Right, that's blacksmith area all sorted. Um, anywhere else up here? Let's let's just. Ooh, yeah, let's jump down. Ooh, hang on, is it the same place? It is. Okay. <laughs> well, at least it's all interconnected. I wonder if we can see the outside, though. I'm looking forward to recognizing, like, different lands. Okay, maybe it's not as open as I thought. It seems to all be kind of interconnected. And that, out there, is the tutorial boss, is it not? That's back to the blacksmith again one quick look and then I guess we will fast travel to that new place but that's kind of odd that that's that's what you gotta do to get to the next place so hang on this this I mean I'm talking shit this literally is the cemetery from the first game uh, I do love connecting physical locations etc can we can we recognize this place not really. Not really. Everywhere is slightly... Like, the castle that I'm looking at is in a different place from where the cemetery was in the first game, if you see what I mean. So, yeah. But dude, look at that motherfucker. I mean, Anno Londo was way higher up the mountain. Nowhere near filing shrines. This isn't Anno Londo. Uh, unless it is. <laughs> Dude, did I skip anywhere out here? Uh, I think I may have actually skipped somewhere. Let's keep going up. Oh, hello. Ooh, I've got a new shield. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Fuck you. Let's just, uh, I'll be putting the shields away soon because of, of, you know... Etc. Fucking hell. Oh my god. Right, there's no physical reduction on this shield. Come on. Yes. Oh, it is satisfying. Powering an enemy. But I'm all about the two handed weapons, so. First big weapon we get, I'll never be parrying again. It's kind of a shame. I'll enjoy the parrying while I can. Oh, hello. Ooh, I am getting undead bird vibes actually. Now, I, now I say it. Fuck no! What in the fuck? You skinny, strong bastard! Fucking hell! Fucking hell, man! Target tracking lunge has that guy got. Perfect textbook roll past him and he just rotates mid lunge. Dude, that guy's got some lunging fucking skill. Oh, I'm so glad you don't go ugly every time you die in this game. 
Right, how the fuck did we get back up there again? Hang on. Uh. Ooh. Um, excuse me? Okay. But fo fog door? Or? Um. Hang on, I I'm lost. <laughs> I'm confused. What? The bonfire will deliver thee to Lothric. I mean, I've seen that there's a new place on there, but what the hell's the deal? Didn't I go out that door, go back up and out and around? Was that like an invader or something? So I'm locked in fog door, etc. Hmm. I mean, I can see the way out there, but then when I get close, it was a fog door. What's the deal with the fog door? Oh. What? Well, I'm confused. Was that beneath me? I, I, yeah, I'm getting confused here. <sighs> I may not be the sharpest bowl in the bowl drawer, as Theo Vaughn once said, but uh... I do get lost easily <laughs> and confused. Right, this guy's strong as shit. I've just got to dodge his uh, his shit here. Fucking hell. This is one strong motherfucker. Let's try and get past him. If we can. What the fuck? What? You can parry running attacks. Since when? Oh, bring it on. Fuck you. Oh my god, this guy is so unbelievable. I'm stuck in a corner, man! Oh my god, 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 I'm fucked. Well, what sort of a legend is this guy? Is this King Lothric? He's so fucking tough. This is, this guy is next level. Fucking hell. This guy's got the lunge of a thousand gods. <laughs> okay. Blood loss. Yeah, I, I, I caught that. Moss fruit. So oh, that's, that's gone. Never mind. Fuck, well, fucking. What the fuck? Donde es el queso, and what the fuck, because that is one tough motherfucker. Right, that's the fog door. Do you, do you go up to get out? Am I, right, am I, am I losing my fucking mind here? <laughs> Why is the fog door blocking me, and then I run off and then run back? Hello? Where the fuck is this? Oh, I'm lost. Help me, Jeebus. I've got no fucking idea where I am. <laughs> um, but it seems to be a new place. So, okay, fuck that super tough little wretch. Let's go this way. Oh, can I kick the ladder down at some point? <laughs> okay. That's a yes. It's locked. Mm. I'm excited to see how many other places in this game are references to the first one. Like, uh... Hmm. Let's think. Places in the first game that I'd love to see again. Not New Londo, because fuck Ghost Town forever. Uh, Alright, let's jump down there and get that thing. Uh... Did my eyes just see a fucking tree giant memory thing? It, they did! Dude! A s what? A seed of a giant tree is yet to fall. I only remember these from the second game. This this is what let you go into the memory of like the giants and shit. Hmm. Cool. 
Got another bone. Whew. Okay, right. I think I've got no choice but to confront the god of all soldiers. Another ember. Okay. Guessing this is all interconnected, and I'm just an idiot for not connecting the dots myself. Oh, I see. Hmm. Can I shoot him with arrows from this flip? Oh, no. Right, okay, well. Oh, shit. Let's get my souls. And then we'll confront him. Oh, fall damage! That was like the tiniest drop that I ever dropped down. Oh my god. Um, well, since I don't have a fireball, I mean, there's no sense having the flame on. I might as well just do these. And you know what? I mean, should I just heal to fall? <laughs> um. A ring a ding ding. Right, I've got like three or four heals per blue bar. Which is cool. Right, where is he? Look at him. I can't believe how strong this guy is. Like, a running attack or whatever isn't stumbling him, so I've got to just, like, get a single attack on him. And then roll away. What? In the fuck? What the fuck, man? Right, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I see how it is. So just... Despite landing successive fucking hair out my face... Despite landing successive hits on a motherfucker, you can just be parried mid-combo in this game. Either I was the luckiest fuckwit to ever live, or I just never experienced that in the first two Dark Souls. I do not remember getting parried mid-fucking combo. So I've really just got to get one... <laughs> one attack on the motherfucker. Oh, I see. Well, hang on. Okay, even... Even, um, even fog doors are trolling me in this game. Weak-looking motherfuckers aren't weak, they're super strong, and fog doors aren't fog doors, they just pretend. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Dark Souls 3 has begun, I'm getting fucked in every way. Let's just get my souls. Right, bring it on. I'm gonna ro I'm gonna... I'm gonna roll into him. I mean, fuck! Is this guy supposed to be the king of all god kings? It, oh, I need to heal already. Hang on, back, back off, back off. I need to roll into him or I'm too far away. Like, this guy don't give no fucks. Oh, right, hang on. Watch the light attacks. No! Fucking hell! Oh, this guy's tougher than the crystal lizard and the boss put together. No, no! What? What? Okay, everything I've come to know about Dark Souls is being subverted and, like, Fucking me in the ass here. <laughs> All my preconceptions about how to fight and kill a motherfucker are just crumbling away into fucking dust because this basic fucking bitch is dismantling me like yesterday's fucking leftovers, okay? Like a cheap fucking wardrobe or some shit. I'm just falling apart and I need to go back to Ikea. What in the fuck? What is this guy? And, and, and oh, for fuck's sake! Fuck off with your fake fog! Just, just, just. Oh. All right, okay. I've got to take a breath. I'm turn. I'm turning hollow in episode one 
How long have I been going? 20 minutes, uh, two hours right. Uh, good point about rem uh, and yeah, I should have mentioned this before. In Dark Souls 1 and 2, I tended to record for like four, four and a half hours. And with a little bit of editing, it, it would typically be, what, three and a half hour episodes. They became a bit of a nightmare to edit as, as the playthroughs progressed and I started to edit more and more. Um, it's largely unedited, as you've seen, but every now and then I like a quick swoosh. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do to make the episodes faster to release during this playthrough is, um, finish the thought. Uh, come on, brain. Oh, I'm turning hollow, man. I'm going to try and record for three hours, and then hopefully it edits down to like two and a half, three hours. So the episode should be a little easier to edit, a little faster to release. Um... Yeah, especially towards the tail end of Dark Souls 2. Uh, it, it got to the point where it was taking me two or three days straight to edit a single episode, so it became a bit a bit slow to release the episodes. And I want to speed that up for Dark Souls 3. Right, where did I die? Because I need my couple of souls that remain. And I need to stop jumping off ledges because I'm losing precious fucking health. Uh, in fact, uh, just real quick. Real quick, run away, run away, and then, uh, and then I'll heal with my bells. I'll ring my bells, and all shall be good with the world. Right, okay. Oh, hang on, I've noticed this guy backs off at a certain point. Ooh. Oh god, no. No! No! Say it ain't so. I wonder if I should be parrying him. Because he's done a hell of a number on me. No, right back. Right, I'm going to do that running attack and then roll backwards away from him. Fucking hell. Fucking hell! Fucking hell! What the fuck is this? Oh god. I mean, right, this is a typical this is a perfect example for me to show you the typical moment that I would edit down for you guys on YouTube. See what I mean? Little edits like that. Now I've decided on my little short run back. I got lost like three times. Let's stop being a little bitch. I'm a This guy's so tough. <laughs> I'm going to try parrying him. Forget everything I said about strength and faith and two-handed weapons. I'm going back to basics here. Back to square one, and we're going to try parrying a motherfucker. He's parrying me. Oh, my actual Jesus. No! <laughs> what is wrong with me? Why am I sucking all of the cock and balls at once? Have I learned nothing from the first two games? No! No! That's what you get! You get no damage at all. What in the fuck? Right, run away. Just no. Leave me alone. Oh, wonderful. Doesn't, doesn't even open from this side. Doesn't he? Even if I kill him, it doesn't open from this side. What the fuck? Is this guy supposed to be undefeatable at this point? Oh, wonderful. I didn't, I didn't even capitalize on it. Ah, oh, let's just keep perfectly parrying him. That's three perfect parries. Your ass is mine, motherfucker. You don't even know. What? I never saw a more perfect parry than that. I'll do this for days, motherfucker. Let's whip out the old faithy thing. And heal with it. Let's be professional and smart Dark Souls players for a change. 
What? Why can't? What's going on here? What am I? Pre I I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Oh, I wasted a flask as well. What? I, I I just suck, ladies and gentlemen. I just suck. Right. Okay. Jesus. He's got the high ground like fucking Ewan McGregor. Just come at me. That's five perfect parries. And by perfect parries, I mean... No! <laughs> Just, just, by perfect parry, I mean parry, but, but, but just, just, just five perfect parries. What, what, what happened to all my swish attacks at the end there? My light attacks, I might as well just be throwing fucking petals at him. Like, what happened to my attacks? They just hit nothing, naught but air, and then he killed me. Fuck you! Oh, right, uh, clearly, clearly, I'm either shit. I'm either shit. Or this guy is intentionally tough and he's supposed to humble new players. I choose to believe. Are those fog doors, like, supposed to be protection or something against PvP invasions? Like, to sit to, to protect you after death where you're not prepared or something. Because I'm getting, like, fog doors stopping my progress, and then they disappear after, like, 30 seconds. Let me know in the comments. Right. Nothing but perfect parries, then. <laughs> this is it. It's you and me, bitch. It's you and me! One. I'm gonna count the fucking parries. And by the way, I recognise that I've got, like, a shitty starter, non-upgraded weapon, so clearly this is harder than it needs to be. I recognise that, don't worry. I, I am I'm making life hard for myself here, I, I already know. <laughs> I mean, that was a pretty perfect fucking parry. <laughs> that was not... Neither was that. Neither was that. Right, let's do what I did in Dark Souls 1. I'm going to click the button the moment I see the weapon actually coming at me, if that makes sense. Fucking hell. <laughs> see, it worked then. It was the system I came up with in the first game, and it almost always parried correctly. You need to wait, not not just for the attack, but for the weapon to physically start coming my direction. I instantly press the key, and then it does work, t usually. Let's heal, because I don't want to be fucking... Come up here. No! 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 Don't you just, just, just... Oh, falling down holes and shit. Right, fuck. Jesus Christ. I mean, I, right, I mean, you saw that with your own eyes. That, that looked to be pretty perfect to me, so maybe the system doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. I kind of, you kind of need to be preemptive in this game, it feels like. Right, when he's standing like that, I think he can parry me. That's why he was parrying me before. And now he can't. I bet that's true. Fuck you. Now I will back off again, and I'm going to use all my blue to heal myself. Okay. There you go. I mean, that didn't work at all. Like, not even a little bit. Fuck off and just leave me be. Leave me be, sir. Ring ding ding. The parrying does seem odd. Right, okay. The, the jump thing is really unparryable. It might as well be. Jesus. Ding ding. And drink, drink. 
In fact, I've got a ding ding again. Ding ding. <sighs> Jesus. I can't believe I'm, I'm relying on perfect. I'm in fucking hell! I'm fucked. No! All right, the, the ring ding ding has a bit of a delay to it. Fucking count counter to everything. My running attacks don't mean shit. My uh No Roll away 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 I've got no health, he's got no health, but if I try and do a running attack, he'll fucking destroy everything I know and love in my life. He'll just, my land, my attack won't land and he'll just murder me. So the running attack just seems a little bit pointless. Can I, can I roll and just do a light attack? Gotcha, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Oh, thank Jesus. We've got some good shit. Uchi Katana. Mm. Hey. In Dark Souls 2, you don't get your first katana for ages. Same with the first game. That's, that's one step towards a big two-handed weapon, so I'm putting that shit on. Now. Never have I earned a weapon more... Oh, fuck off. I forgot that... Katana's are dexterity weapons. Fuck. Um. Uh, I know in previous games you could two-hand and it doubles your strength, I think, but not your dex. Is that is that correct? Um. Sail away, sail away. Nah, bollocks. Well, for fuck's sake, if only <laughs> I had more dex. Oh, fine, I'll stick with this shit axe then. <laughs> uh, let's at least look at his stuff, though. I kind of like the little deer thing, the, the antler helm, but... I didn't get a helm, I got a thing. Um, <laughs> nice bleed and poison resist, but shit for everything else. Zero poise. Um, oh, I've got a headache. Seriously. I've never been slapped so hard in the first episode of any game ever. Uh, that's, I've got Master's Gloves thing. No pants. You know what? He was such a pain in the ass, I'm not even gonna- I'm gonna toss his gear away and piss on it. Because, fuck him. And all of that was for literally nothing. <laughs> Fucking hell. What did you do in the first episode? I got my balls slapped by a skinny wretch. And I got eaten by a crystal lizard. Uh, I guess we should just fast travel to that new fire then. Oh god. Oh fuck man. No, I'll just, I'll just get killed. By a basic fuck. And I don't want to get killed by a basic fuck. Firekeeper, can you help me? Help me, Jeebus. In fact... Oh, I'm forgetting basic game functionality, like the bonfire actually heals me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I like to think that killing that fuckhead now will save me from killing him later. Whew. Right. I think I've been everywhere, though, so let's try fast traveling to that new place. Uh, I'll quickly go all the way upstairs, because that's the same way out. Up through these windows is the same place. And the, uh, 
the thing locked from the other side. In fact, in the first game, wasn't there an offshoot similar thing that did actually go down to New Londo? I wonder if that is an elevator that does go down. I mean, or up, I guess. Uh, I'm stalling the the inevitable. Let's try fast traveling then. Let's make a little bit more progress in episode one because so far <laughs> I've just got slapped. I nearly killed the crystal thing first time and then I failed. Nearly did the same with the big dog worm. Failed multiple times. High Wall of Lothric. You see, that's the name of the king, but then the name of the actual city sounds like it's called Lothric as well. Herald Trousers. Quilted Trousers said to be... Oh, that's gone. I see that they haven't added a press X to continue sort of loading screen prompt. No, you, the, the tips have gone as soon as they've arrived. Uh, that looks like one of those ember swords. Hmm. Well, I fast traveled, but there ain't no fire here. Yeesh. Right, okay. What do we got here? We've got a stairs and a door. And some cloth. Dude. Bruh. High wall of Lothric. Okay, I'm getting an Orlando vibes here. What a breathtaking scene. Dude! <laughs> uh, if you've seen my first two playthroughs, you know I'm a I'm a sucker for the screenshot moments. Ooh, here's a test. Can you hide your hood like you can in in the earlier games? Please tell me you can. Hood Oh you can. Oh Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, just, 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 just hang on just one little second. Let's just do one of those. <laughs> and uh, get up to an edge. And then do one of these. And then, and then one of, I know I've got grass in the eyeballs. Can't have grass in the eyeballs. Hey, sometimes you've got to take screenshots, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a work of art. That is actually a beautiful sight, though. Come on. Defo and Orlando vibes. Right, anyway. Uh, there's my beautiful face again. Uh, and let's turn on the hood. I almost wish there was a hotkey for turning it off. Or hitting the screenshot button. Took it without the hood, but it doesn't. I already know that for a fact. So you got to manually turn it off, but that's fine. Oh, shit. Dragon. Dead dragon or living dragon? I was friends with the dragons in the second game, strangely, but they, uh, they were definitely presented as evil... As evil fucks in the first game. Like that big red shithead on the bridge, the fiery bridge in the first game. Which I didn't kill until the end of the game. Okay. The, <laughs> the, the mobs have a maximum render distance because a dog just disappeared. Dude. This is amazing. I know if Jesus Christ I've been sighing for 20 minutes. So let's go down. Ooh, bonfire. Did I just hear a dragon or was that this weird tree made of men? 
I think it's the dudes. Okay, the trees are actual... Oh! He's got like a branch coming out of his mouth. Oh! Poor bastards. That dragon looks dead to me. I wonder if the dragons are just all dead and, like, petrified in this game. Jesus, this place is fucking big, man. I know I saw a dude. Hello? I, I see you there. I see you hide peeking over the wall. What? All right, you can clearly bullshit. <laughs> okay. Hey, I'm not going to complain. You can clearly bullshit things through walls, though. Uh, I want to go down dragon side first, because dragons are cool. Huh. Are they going to be pissed off at me? Oh! Uh... I mean, should I just go parrying? I mean, I kind of don't wanna. Because I will be two-handing weapons, like, at some point. Let's just- let's just learn how to- Let's learn how to properly roll and avoid enemies. <laughs> oh god, this- Oh, is he gonna rile the townsfolk? Is he riling the townsfolk? I think he might be. Well, hey, fuck you. I think he did, didn't he? Officially. Right, they're just statues. All good. Ooh, I'm looking forward to being able to buy shards so I can upgrade even the basic weapons. Well, I'm not going to kill people that are just minding their own business. Living their best life. Right, here's the dragon's face. Hello. Oh, it's like, uh... It's... It's kind of ashy. It's kind of like being... Uh... Being Thanos snapped. <laughs> it's actively being Thanos snapped very slowly. It's just disintegrating. Okay, well, it's dead then, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Well, I'm not gonna complain. Well, hello there. Right, yeah, this one's gonna kill me, isn't it? Fuck you. Firebomb. Well, hello. Oh, you bastard! Right, okay. Uh, I don't know if it's just the what the axe move set, but the running attack with this is super delayed and like it's like a full second that your attack lands, at which point I'm getting slapped during that time. So I'm not a fan of the running attack so far. Mm. Hello? Uh are you gonna break me out of prison, sir? Hello there. Your tall, lanky streak of piss. Okay. I'm a, I'm a fan of the dark, depressive, like, almost gothic, uh... I don't know, visualization, if you see, if you see what I'm trying to say. It's very dark, darker than the first game. And I'm a fan of that. Gothic is probably actually a, an excellent word to use. I'm, I'm thinking of like Dracula, like Castle Dracula, much more so than the first two games. It's much darker. When I'm down in the caves, I'm thinking of S Skyrim again. Oh, oh, you scampy little bastard! Oh! Right, the townsfolk are riled again. Let's back off. Right, so the lantern, the screaming lantern fuckers summon other fuckers. Oh, I love the ragdoll effect. It's still in the game. Yeah! <laughs> Let's toss him in the hole. 
That's what you get for screaming at me and tossing lanterns at me. Just fucking, you end up in a hole, bitch. Okay. Anyway, right. Let's try running a tech again. It might just be the delay and you've got to get used to the delay, but yeah. Boom. Honestly, it might just be the axe. I can't wait to have a proper, like, Zweihander or Claymore or something. Oh, fuck. It's all good. I can take one or two hits. Don't worry about it. I did notice as well when I was making sure at the start of this recording, uh, when I was testing my controls, uh, I did notice you could hold the power attack. I, I was testing, like, pre holding down the trigger because the other day I spilled... <laughs> I, I spilled a giant glass filled with gin and lemonade on my desk where my controller was. And it did... It, it's, um... Can you hear that? That's not me pressing the button. That's the right trigger sticking. My, I, I've permanently like stuck my trigger key down and it clicks to activate the button now. So I was, I was just, I was clicking that to see if I could get, get rid of the stickiness or whatever. I can't, it's just permanently like clicking now. But in so doing, I held it down and I noticed, yeah, it did the long wind up. Which is a fun way to find that out. <laughs> Trying to de-stick my gin-soaked trigger key. Like an alcoholic maniac. You fucker! Oh! Just as pesky as the fuckers in the first game. Tossing shit at me. Uh, right, can I climb the dragon? I mean, can I unironically literally ride the dragon? I can- oh! <laughs> oh, you can! Let's climb its tail! Hang on, hang on, we're slipping. I mean, I'm just talking shit, but I seem to be able to actually get up there. Oh, hang on, that does go somewhere, right, noted. I might be able to drop down. Understood. Okay, we, okay, you, you can't climb the dragon. But if this leads to nowhere, I'm gonna try jumping down. Da, 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 da. Oh, for fucking thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jeebus. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna be using spells, really. So... I actually don't really need binoculars. I'll throw them on, though. Uh... Oh, is it not like a thing? Is it an item in this game? Oh, let's... actually, let's look at that shield I got, because I might want to switch for that. They've both got parry. Um, a wooden shield decorated with ancient symbol of the two-headed eagle. Small shield in size. Is that an official term, small shield? Uh, it's heavier than the other one. Looks to be basically the same. More physical and magical protection, though. And fire. And way more lightning and dark. Right, that's going on. Oh, shit. Just in case I should want to use it. Is it here? Oh, it is here. Right, it's now a quick slot item. That's better. So can I have my shit, my weapons equipped, and then just pop it? Right. Oh, I wonder if you can't cast spells then in this game. I mean, here's a test. Can I pop it whilst I'm zoomed in, looking at the beautiful castle? Uh... You can, but... I, yeah, I'm not sure if that will let you do magic missiles and so on. Okay. Anything else up here? Oh. 
Ah, what if we we're going to see like Dark Root Basin level in this game? Oh, dude. I do believe I'm going to enjoy this playthrough. It's got all the hallmarks of uh, being great in the same way the first game and the second game were great. I think my favorite thing about those games was seeing like a massive, beautiful vista like this, just like p p places to go in the in the very distance in a like an awesome castle, knowing that I would go there at some point. And the same applies in Dark Souls 3, clearly. Right, let's drop under the dragon's wing. Hello? Fucking look at those talons. Loot. Gold pine resin, I do believe that's lightning damage. Alright, let's climb down. And I will climb, because even a small fall in this game is lots of fall damage, so... Fuck that. Oh, this is the guy- <laughs> this is the guy I tossed in the hole. Whee! Okay. Souls. I'm gonna save up a few more souls, and uh, rather than level up with them, I might just start buying a lot of the limited use, uh limited purchase things on the vendors, etc. Get them out of the way early. Oh god, here we go. Ah, oh, shield and a long range weapon. Let's try and roll past him. Or can I just run around him and backstab him? Hey. I mean, they are just as stupid as, as ever. Whee! You missed, bitch. Right, okay, they are all coming at me though. Hang on, let's... Let's not get complacent. Oh, here we go, here we go now. There we go. <laughs> uh, it, you know, it might actually be worth turning cinematic effects off. Because it is a little disorienting. And if I, if I was to be surrounded by enemies or whatever... Fucking shit. <laughs> if I was to be surrounded and need to like dodge accurately, I might not want my camera to be moving for me. In oh! Okay, they're not all dead. Ooh! Oh! Okay, return of the fireboy block in my path. Understood. Fucking hell! Can you stop setting this place on fire, please? Fucking hell! Right, I don't know where the, f the hitbox of the fire is here. Am I just not able to progress up here, then? Uh... Right. Oh, is my... Uh, am I undead or am I just burned? Why is my face dark? <laughs> I'm fucking singed. Oh, the dragons. The dragon literally burns you. Right. Oh, fuck. I want it to chill. I want the fire to die down and then I'm going to try and loot an item up there. But I need the fire to die down. Go, 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 I've got a club! I've got a club! Leap! I did- yeah, it worked! Hey, uh... Alright, just chill up there. Not so much in the first game, but in the second game, it wasn't just big, heavy weapons that I really liked. It was the clubs and the blunt weapons specifically. And I just got a club with less damage than my axe. It does have better strength scaling, though. They've both got War Cry, which I, I've forgotten about until now, by the way. Uh, oh, way better durability. Let's put that on. 
Let's just, uh, let's swing a club. It's only a one-hand club, so it's small, but it's fine. Right. Go, 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 go. Let's try and get to the door. Come here. I did it. Um. I'd kind of like to get that loot over there, though. Shit. Um. Right, I'm going to wait for the fire to die down. Just, just chill up there. Right. Go, 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 go. I can do it. I can do it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! No! Lord! Oh, shit! Oh, shit, man. Oh, shit, boy. In the hole! Oh, not in the hole, off the edge. I have no regrets, and you want to know why? Because I saw what I fucking got. Yeah, I can't use it. Right. I'm not getting my first great sword and not having the dex requirement. You can fuck yourself. I'm going to put points in dex immediately. Claymore. Oh, what a start to the playthrough. Like, in terms of finding a good weapon to start with. Hell yes. An unusually large and heavy greatsword, normally wielded with two hands. Yeah. This highly versatile weapon can be swung broadly or thrusted. That, that's nice. My hair is caught on my mic. Fuck off. Okay. Ah, I've, I've knocked my mic out of position. Okay, skill. Oh, his skill is different. Stance. While in stance, use normal attack to break a foe's guard from below. And strong attack to slash upwards with a forward. Oh. Well, I can't use it yet. But that sounds interesting. I'm guessing I literally can't use the, the, the ability without the stat requirement. Yeah, no, he just blocks. Oh. Oh, you can. That's the upwards. Oh. Calm down now. Calm down now. Oh shit, it's firing the bottom now. Okay, well, um... Alright, sorry, how many souls have I got? Because I want the dex requirement immediately. I need to use this. Uh, I've got nine. I need thirteen. So I need four levels. I don't even have three levels worth. Any souls items? Uh, a couple. I'll I'll go a little bit longer, maybe to the next bonfire, and then we'll upgrade our stats so I can use the claymore and probably end episode one because I must be at the three hour mark. So I'll keep going this direction just a bit longer. Um. Oh shit! What's that? I need the hang on. I need the fire to fuck off. I'm glad to see the fire isn't as dangerous as the first game. In the first game, that fire on the bridge just insta-kills you. Yeah. Fucking hell! Right, I'ma slay your ass, bitch. Dangerous dragon fuck. Uh... I wonder if I can get it to a, t if a flame down here and not up there, if you see what I'm saying. So it'll be even more delayed when I go up there. There, it's looking over the side. Yes. Yes. Oh, fuck it. Just run for the door. Fuck you. Too slow, bitch. Okay. I got another souls item. That's excellent. I may have had a rocky start to the to the game, but uh, hey, starting with episode two, we're gonna start strong with that motherfucking claymore.
I'm, I'm, I'm getting sudden flashes here. In the first game, don't you get a claymore specifically for running down the, the red dragon bridge? Potentially at the start of the game if you know how to run down that bridge. I didn't. I had to go there at the end of the game and kill that red dragon. But wasn't there specifically a claymore by doing that? And I just got a claymore, claymore by running past that dragon. Oh! You fucking piece of shit! Have I learned nothing? Oh, fuck! Fuck! Have I learned not one single thing from Dark Souls 1 and 2 combined? Am I that much of a basic fuckwit? The very first fucking chest in the game! The first one! Eats me and spits me out for dinner. Or oh, eats me for dinner and then shits me out. Oh. The first chest. The first chest. Like, what, what special manner of moron am I? Let's get past a couple of these fuckers and hope they leave me behind. Shut up. Oh, I know, I need to go down. Oh, I need to go down. Alright, let's get past them. Fuck you. Right, I'm gonna cr I'm gonna go down the ladder, they're gonna they're gonna follow me and they're gonna take fall damage. That's what they're gonna take. Right, uh bottleneck. B bottleneck them and then their numbers count for nothing. Mm -hmm. Fuck you. No! Fuck it up. What did I just do? Right, uh I'm alive still. Uh is it just me, or did I just, like, attack past their attack, and it, they, their attacks didn't land? Interesting. I wonder if, like, doing that officially makes me immune to attacks or something? I'm gonna have to watch that back again. Right, bring it on, you fuck. Dude, <laughs> the club is just as ferocious as the uh, the other previous games. Fucking Jesus! Do I get the souls for that? For all these dead guys? I think I do. Hey, free souls. Um, right. <laughs> They are dropping shit that I want. Wait for the fire to go out. Good enough. I oh, fucking hell! You just chill down there. Come on, fire, go out. I want the souls back more than anything, so... I'll get one item, and then I might come back. Ah. Right, it hasn't escaped my notice. I can... I can actually climb up there. Uh, tell you what, let's... Right, my souls are right. Let's get my souls back. Jesus Christ. Um... Right, what's the... There's always a telltale sign about which is a mimic. Is it the... In the first game, it... I believe the only way to... to it's fucking moving! Or it did for a second, it, bre it was breathing. In the first game, I believe the only way to tell was the chain or off the side was in a slightly different direction. In the, in the second game, they had, like, clasps for eyes or something. Um... I assume the hitbox of its grab is just as bullshit. <laughs> so, when I trigger it, I'm gonna roll away. Right, I thought this might, like, be locked from the other side, so... Hopefully that's a shortcut we've just opened. Oh god. Uh, is it is it rotating, and is, is it gonna breathe down this way? Hello? Oh my god, its fucking wings are right over my face! Um, nope. Is that full damage? No. Okay. 
Right. In fact, is that the only way to go? It is, isn't it? Gotcha. Well... Let's hold down the parrot. I can see what happens. Ugh. Roll away, roll away. Get rid of the tables. Dodge and weave. Dodge and weave! Stupid chairs. Oh! oh can I do a plunging attack? That'd be great. Um, dude, it's got the speed of a thousand gazelles. Why is it so fast? Fucking hell! Right, hang on. Can I get... Can I get some really fast plunging attacks on it? Where is it? Oh my god, this thing is too fast, man. Oh, oh I did get the plunging attack off. Brilliant. Get up. If I can do my plunging attacks, that'd be great. There, right. Come here, come here. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, no. It's a bit, it's a bit finicky. I mean, hey. <laughs> Plunging attack? Yes! Just, I'm gonna have it, have it, have it. Keep having it. I, okay, no! No! Don't, if you can. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're gonna have to work for your meal. And it did work for its meal, and then it enjoyed its meal. Fuck's sake. Alright, okay, so don't just go for it, because when it grabs you, you're fucking straight dead. Fucking hell, right, Mike, get out of the way. Okay. Oh, my own position's done. Not gonna work. Fuck me. Okay. Right, at least I got my souls back. Let's just... Let's just leave these fuckers in my dust. Leave, leave them behind. No! Get out of my way! Get the fuck! <gasps> you better get out of my way right now. You you better get out of my way. Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh, you rude dragon fork. At least, you know, that's kind of confirmation that if I'm fast enough, it will kill all of the fuckers behind me. Which is interesting. Right. Understood. Why am I even bothering? Um. I'll tell you what. I will get... Fuck me, I need to turn my game down. I will destroy it because they they did have good loot in the other games. Like like they have the loot of a chest, ironically, so they are worth killing. <laughs> Let me just destroy the boxes first. Right, okay. Let's back off. Can I use this ladder as like you know what I'm trying to say, like 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 Oh, it's just, trying to, it's just trying to kick me. Fuck off. Um. No, that's the grab. That's the grab. Fuck! Fuck it off! What's that damage? It's kick is. Oh, no, that's just your fish. Fuck off. You lanky streak of ugly, skinny piss. Dude, that kick puts fucking... Conor McGregor. I was trying to think of someone that kicks. It puts Conor McGregor to shame. That kick is the fucking kick to end all kicks. Let's get my souls, but right. No, no, no. I've got enough souls now, I reckon. I reckon. Um... Over to the drop down. Good. Right, let's just uh, let's get the dragon to fire, and then I'll hold off for a sec. That's right. Yes. Tactics. 
fuck the mimic. I'll, I'll, do, I'll do the mimic next time. I'm over time. I'm way over time as it is. So let's just go. Go, 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 go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I believe I've earned enough souls to use the claymore. And that will no doubt be way better than this tiny little poxy club. So, let us... Let's, let's homebone. Oh, you can add stuff to a tool belt. Oh, well, that's cool. So I can, like, do stuff from the menu rather than go into the inventory and do stuff. Jesus. Um, how, how do you add stuff? You can switch. Can I add the bone to that? Oh, I can. Right. Right. Well, there's some stuff I will never use. I don't really see me using the PvP stuff, and I'm not going to lose souls by using the dark sign. So let's rejig this list a little bit. Let's throw that on there. Uh, can you... Oh, you can put that on there. Oh, right. The tool belt is on the menu, and it takes it off of my active list of items. Ah. That is so fucking loud. Um, but yeah, that's taken it off this list. So let's try adding it real quick um, to my quick items and see if it has left the tool belt. It has, right. Okay, so you've got some you can add to the quick list for using in combat, or you can use them slowly on the tool belt by bringing the menu up. But the thing is, it's not that hard to use the tool belt. You, can, you, you just press that button and use it real fast. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm going to use the first home bone. I'll use it on the tool belt as well. Let's go. I won't use too many bones throughout the playthrough, but this is one time where I've just got to upgrade some shit. I've got too much to lose already. And I don't want that loud fucking dragon yelling all the time. Uh, let me know in the comments if I'm right about that. If you can only have them on either the tool belt or the quick items, but not both. At least with my controller, it's easy enough, though, to just press one button down and then I'm at the same items anyway. Like, it doesn't seem that different to just... Because I, I would have to switch to the item anyway manually to use a thing. It's arguably faster and easier to just go like that and straight down and then, then you're there. In fact, with muscle memory, you can even remember the, the quick buttons to press to go to a specific thing. So I can just go like that, and I'm straight to the bone. Or a cross one, I can just go whoo, like fast as shit. That's faster than the quick quick slot thing. Mm. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, dexterity. Let's use everything. <laughs> Oh, please tell me I've got enough. I don't want to confront mimics and dragons and shit without a proper sword. Oh, shit. How do you use more than one at once? Shit. I'll learn how to navigate the menus at some point. Use selected. Ah, there we go. Oh, right, you can go in stacks of ten. I see. I see. All right. Whew. Well, you know what? I am liking the, the Milfinito style lady that sings when you're here. It's melancholy, but it's, it is very restful. It's a nice rest compared to listening to that fucking dragon going ape shit. It's just... It's relaxing coming back here. And that's that. Okay. Uh, before I level up, though, I will quickly check the old lady and see what uh -huh. she's got. How may I? Just once again, real quick. 
just before I get rid of this shit. Um, dagger. I mean, you can get some pretty good fucking weapons right off the bat, like a halberd. That's almost always one of my go-to early game weapons, because I love a good halberd. I mean, look at the damage and everything. It requires 16 strength, which is exactly what I've got. And even less dex than the claymore I've got. So I might genuinely consider that. Hmm. It's got charge as well. Ooh, I bet that's a proper lunge attack. Talisman. Right, she has nothing I particularly care about. Okay, let's, uh... Let's get up to at least the dex requirement of the claymore. What is it, real quick? Da, 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 13, okay. No doubt a lot of the big strength weapons do require a little bit of dex anyway, so I need to put some points in dex. Look at that weapon. I might have to go back to the start of this place and take new screenshots uh, for the thumbnail of this episode. Home, I should speak then. But I'll I'll do that after I'm uh, finished recording. Oh, look at the weapon. Okay. Well. Then touch the take nourishment from these sovereignless souls. Oh, I shall. Okay. What was it again? Is it thirteen or fourteen? Oh, I don't have enough. Oh no, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Let's spend the souls now. Do I need 13? Oh, what an absolute cock in the ass. It is 13. How many souls do I need and how many have I got? Fuck off, I need 1300. <sighs> right. Final challenge of this episode. You know what I'm gonna go do. I'm a, I'm a put, I'm a put my club to the face of that mimic bitch, and I'm gonna emerge victorious, and then we shall level up and use a claymore. <laughs> okay. I thought I'd have enough, especially with using all the souls items. Ooh. Right, let's do this. Let's run past motherfuckers and let the dragon do its thing. Is it the same dragon? Is it a different dragon that's doing all that shit? Onto the ledge, so I don't get fall damage. Professionally done. Let's leave these fuckers in my dust. Oh shit. Right, dragon, please do your thing. I'm just gonna go for it. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go! Uh, how many souls do I need? 1,000 more. I need 2,000. Oh, 2353. Three. 2353. Three. I probably don't even need to kill the mimic. I could just get the dragon to kill that, those fuckers again and again and again. But that's fine. Oh, just miss, why don't you? Um, right, okay, okay. Yes! Back off, okay. Now, let's just... Utilize a little bit of bullshit here. <laughs> Fuck! Oh! Oh, you dangerous, actual, scary fuck. He just seemed to be a bit confused on these stairs, like. I mean, hey, whatever makes it easier. Fuck you. I'll, I'll bullshit this as much as I damn well want to. Oh, God. Right, Jesus, this fucking thing, man. No! No! I can't see! I can't see, man! I can't even see! I'm in its mouth! I'm in its mouth! Well, goodbye, life. Like, seriously! <laughs> no! <laughs> 
Now I know what it feels like to have my face shoved into a letterbox and then get eaten alive by a hellhound. The fuck? I've never had a camera so, like, f fucking in my eyeballs as I've been devoured. Good Jesus. Oh, God. What a pain in the dick. All right, I'm going to roll past it. Right, I need that thing to attack me. And then roll past Roll! Right. <coughs> okay, okay, okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's, it's all fine. It's fine and dandy. Fuck you. I'm just gonna go for this first time. Fuck you. Get out of it. No! No! <sighs> Jesus. Oh! I can't, oh God, Jesus. Right, I'm gonna wait for it to do something. I can't believe how much trouble I'm having with a basic mimic. A basic ass mimic. Right. Right, hang on, it's one of those things alive, real quick. No. Right, I'm gonna let it attack me. And if it does a swipe or a kick, I'll just, I'll attack after I've dodged one attack. But if it does its grab, roll away for dear life. Right, come at me. Come at me. But I need to roll into it. Oh, oh, it's got follow-ups, I think. That's not good. Fucking hell. That reminds me of the, th the thrust kick that the... Machines can do in Final Fantasy X. I bet nobody gets that reference. But the the tall machina that can do the thrust kick that that kills a character. That kick is identical. <laughs> Calm down. Nope, you're not grabbing me, motherfucker. Your days of grabbing me are over. No! <gasps> that was so fast. Just is this thing Goku? Can it do like fucking like that that fucking teleport insta kill move that Goku can do? What what is this fucking teleport kick to the face? I I, I don't get this. I don't get how I can suck on such a monumental level. Shut up. Stop screaming, stop yelling. There's an item up there, I think, to loot, but that's 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 neither here nor there. This is gonna be like a seven hour episode, and it's all because I'm trying to l kill a fucking mimic. Yeah, 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 yada, 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 yada. Do your breath, I'm not scared of you. He's destroying the, the man trees, which is interesting. Blah, 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 blah. I'm more scared of the Mimic than I am of that dragon. I literally am. This is ridiculous. I'm getting the souls I need just by dying. <laughs> right, come on. That's what I need to do. I need to do the counter after I, I roll, if you see what I'm saying. That one. And then I just, just keep moving. Stick the jab. Stick the jab. Stick the jab. Right, back off a sec. Back off, back off. Sometimes you just gotta back off. Or you get a boot to the face. You missed. You grab missed, bitch. What are you gonna do? Your kick missed, bitch. That wasn't a kick, it was a grab. Oh, no! Look at that flying, spinning kick. Is he a monk? Was he a monk in a former life before he got trapped in a chest? Oh, 
Oh, this ain't, this guy ain't nothing but a basic bitch. A basic chest face having bitch. Fuck your kicks. Fuck you! Jesus, Lord Gwyn was softer and easier than this motherfucker. Symbol of avarice. Oh. Oh, that had poison, I believe. Um. I am sorry. I am sorry for wasting. I know this is like a proper waste of, of my t only two bones. But I need to end the episode. And I've got what I sought out. Like, I've achieved my goal. I just want to be safe. Okay? Just, I just want to be safe again. Level up. Very well. Oh, my head is killing me. Touch the darkness within me. Take me. Oh, I'll touch that darkness and thank you. Farewell, Ashen. May the flames. I want to listen to that full thing that she's she says when you're in that level up screen. But we'll do that next time. Okay, here we go. That's it. Now hang on just a, just a second here. Um, let's look at my original axe. Uh, it was originally 127 damage. Uh, can I see that screen there? Right, so with current scaling, it was 110 plus 17. That starts higher and you get even more from the bride. So ooh, we've got our first proper jump up in attack power. So what do I have? Uh, should I see a jump up when I'm two-handing versus not two-handing? If you see what I'm saying. 157. Or 168, right? It's only a, it's only a modest, small jump up when I'm two-handing. I think in the first game, don't you get like 50% extra damage or, or at the very least strength? Or something like that. So the damage doesn't go up too too crazily in this game when you're two-handing, but it, it is higher. Okay. I'm hoping this greatsword moveset is fantastic. One, two, three. Oh, yes. I might be putting points into stamina soon, though, just so I can... Uh... Uh, is this a two-shot, two-hit combo? And then I'm just... I'm doing the first attack again. Do you see what I mean? Because otherwise, I, I want enough stamina. I, I ran into this problem in Dark Souls 2. I want enough stamina to do like a triple attack and then have enough stamina to roll at least once. Especially when it comes to bosses, you want to get in like an attack or two and then enough stamina remaining to, to roll at least once or, or sprint a bit and then roll to get away from the boss to then recharge your stamina. Hmm. All next time. We'll, we'll think about that next time. I've got to end the episode. Thanks for joining me for episode one of Dark Souls 3. Had a few issues starting the recording of this playthrough with, you know, controls and having to take a few days since creating the character before I was able to come back and play, but we have liftoff and boy, do we have liftoff. Like, by liftoff, I mean getting fucked from square one. We, we got fucked so hard and died. How many times have I died in episode one? Half of the deaths were to a, a mimic. The other half were to some wretch without even a name outside. The crystal lizard ferret thing was easy com in comparison. And that thing had a message to turn back. Where, where was the t really turn back message for like that tough motherfucker outside this castle? If ever I needed a turn back message, it was for that guy. Uh, I, I should just end the episode. <laughs> ah, good, I, what I, need. I just want to real, real quick. What do I need again? I need one more shard. I'm guessing you can't buy one from this guy at the very least. Nah. Pretty, be careful. Pretty, thank you. Right, thanks for joining me for this episode. I like to think 
through trials and through challenge and through difficulty comes the inner p- peace <laughs> and inner success. We, we face shit in the face, but we come out clean on the other side. That's the overall feeling I'm getting from this game. It's no different to the first two games. Getting fucked and getting my balls slapped repeatedly is all part of the game. It's what you gotta do to succeed. <laughs> like this video if you liked it. Like this video if you didn't like it and subscribe for similar content. All my social media links are in the description, and I have a Patreon if you want to go above and beyond to support my content. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch all of you guys in episode two, where... I mean, you know, I've got my first proper weapon, and I'm familiar with swords. Swords are my favorite kind of melee weapon, so I like to think we're going to have a bump up in in player power at the start of next episode. I've just been struggling and sucking dick until this point. But uh, I think it'll start to get a little smoother starting next time, so I'll catch you guys then. Liquid Blitz, out.